So, this is Hellspawn Kitty with Outside the Box Gaming with Nate. So, got top two at ARG Worcester. He's playing. Playing Girl, Lady, Violet. Dark Alice. Dark Alice. So, um, the list is really regalia heavy. Actually, I started off with um, a list that was, I think, just uh, red black. And then I added blue for cats. And then I uh, played against my friend who basically used my list, but then he added Percival's and Mary Bell's. And so that's what I kind of swapped to. So that, like I said, it's a really regalia heavy list. Uh, I play a couple Death Sights, a couple Mary Bell's, three of these guys, two cats, and four bows. So a lot of these kind of fluctuate depending on what's going on with the meta, but I've kind of stuck with three uh, of the Demon Swords. I had one shorting when I started, I went all the way up to three. Now I'm on two. I think I'm kind of happy with that. Um, the Mary Bells are really good right now. Uh, I, f I feel like you have to actually probably play Hera or Mary Bell, depending on the matchup. Like from for this deck, anyways. I know I need one or the other, so I'm actually splitting them. Um, the creature base is you know really like the best. Resonators available. You know, I mean, um, I started off with four Heras, and then people started to move away from Regalia a little bit. So I'm running one on the board. Uh, the Cats, the Percivals, and even actually the Heras all really stack up with Cinderella. So you can easily wipe someone's table, which is nice. There's also one of the cards that forces a lot of cards into the graveyard, which is kind of hard to do sometime with the deck. Because, you know, if your opponent doesn't play anything, it's hard to kill anything. Um, like nothing. And then uh, yeah, the Lancelot's actually one I added and last, just well, recently. Right, right. Uh, well, and you know, it's Lancelot, it's not supposed to really be a red deck, so I kind of like held that off for a long time. But it gives you a good, uh, like aggressive creature to force your opponent to interact with you. They've got to play some kind of removal spells to, to stop it, so then you get to eat up the removal spells with the Atlas. Uh, playing two robes, which I don't normally do, but this metagame is so like red heavy, so I figured there's no point in not playing any main deck robes. Robes. The scorns are pretty awesome, and yeah, with conjunction with the, the Sony of the Deaths, uh, you really cover like the Alice of the World matchup because you get to deal with that turn two Gwibber one of these ways. Literally, um, for the most part, the way. And so that's basically the main deck. You just basically get to stack all these really good cards. I mean, these are mostly the best cards in the game right now. I mean, I'm not playing Thunder. Uh, but the deck wasn't very red heavy to begin with, and then I just never found its way in here. I suppose you could play Thunder instead of something like Robe if you don't want a metagame so heavy against red decks. Um, that's pretty much it for the main deck. The stones, uh, like I said, I started this off actually. It was it was three color. It was it was black, red, and uh, and blue. And so I had like a little red, a grub stone, and then I split these. And I found it actually just to be easier okay. to get my mana requirements if I played the Regalia Stones. So, you know, I upped my Regalia count, added those, and then adding Percival from there was just simple. So that's kind of, that's what created the monster you see in front of you, I guess. Um, so that's, that's the list. The cyborg, um, I'm playing right now, these guys are to eat up flames of Outer World. Because really the only thing you kind of care about is her not dying, in a way. So that's only the flames right, match. So you get to play it and take it. Uh, I've got these guys in here for Shadow Barriers. They were a possible of creations for a while. It was tough to get, you know, double white on turn three. Um, but that said, I do play better beers because the payoff is so high. So decks with Arthur, you get to snatch him. You know, you don't have Refrain to bounce Arthur. So that's a good way to deal with him. And it, of course, hits things like Weber. I've got the extra robe in the board, extra Mary Bells, which are good against other regalia heavy decks, the decks where you need to keep the Demon Sword off the table for an attack phase or something. And then just round it off with a couple of the, the fourth copy cards, you know, the, the extras, the extra side blade. The Dreams of Juliet just kind of comes in against random things. You know, if the Hera is really good and the Bedivir, then it kind of acts as an additional copy since you can flash them back into play. You can blow up Shadow Barrier. Uh, you can randomly kill a Meth if someone leaves them out as your only resonator. So I just like it as like a play card. And then a couple barriers which actually have not been very good for me. So I'm probably going to cut them because it doesn't do anything for the initial goal of the deck to just shove stuff in your opponent's graveyard. Uh, just kind of stays out and messes with things that are out. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the list overall. I'd probably, after today, uh, my worst match is definitely the Reflect Refrain Necromancy deck. So probably just uh, come up with a couple more cyborg cards for that match. It was really rough to kind of lean on things like Bow 
and then have them drop a shadow barrier of their own, you know, and then like, ah, you get killed. So, um, if someone has any ideas for that, I'd like to hear them, but I uh, probably just use a couple more cards for that match. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. I was just saying, can I